Hey guys, welcome back to my GED videos. Hope everybody is good for the Sunday today. And here's more GED science practice questions for today. I made it for you, for everybody. Not only the one that taking GED, but this is also helpful for this high school student, even in a middle school student or a college student. But this is easy, the easy one. So hope this can help you guys. So let's get started. As usual, 10 seconds. I'll give you 10 seconds to guess the answer. So let's get started. The number one. The number one question is about the chart here in the top about the oxygen and carbon cycle. What, number one question, what should we use least to reduce global warming? He said A, fossil fuels, B, geothermal energy, C, solar energy, D, nuclear energy. And the answer is letter E, fossil fuels. Because the fossil fuels are born, it, when it burns, it, it, it gets, it come heat, it gets heat, and then it, it produces carbon dioxide in the air. So that's why if you, if you use less fossil fuels, we'll reduce the global warming. So let's get a number two questions. The number two questions is about here in the chart above. It's about the body core temperatures of birds and mammals. This is the animals, example sparrow, pigeon, duck, magpie, Turkish sheep, cow and dog, and their body temperature in Celsius and a Fahrenheit degree. So the sparrow, for example, is 43.5 and 110.3 Fahrenheit. So the question is, which of the following people would most likely observe and make this information? Is it a medical doctor, B butcher, C a farmer, or D a veterinarian? And the answer is a veterinarian. The veterinarian is the one that observes the body core temperature of birds and animals. They're the one that making a information uh, and file the information and observe these animals. So let's get a number three question. My number three question is which of the following substances is the strongest acid? So here in the chart above, we're starting 1 is the strongest and 7 is the neutral and 14 is the, the not strong. It's a base. It's the strong one. So we said letter A, lemon juice with pH 2.3. B, vinegar pH equals 2.8. C, orange juice with pH equals 3.5. Or D, Milk beads equals six point five. And the answer is letter A, of course. The lemon is the one that is acidic here. All of the liquids here. The letter A lemon juice would be it's equals 2.3. It's somewhere here, 2.3. And let's go to the number four questions. In my number four questions here in the top, I made a, a graph here. Volume temperature, volume temperature, volume pressure. So according to Charles Low, when the temperature of a gas rises, the volume of the gas increases. So which of the following graphs illustrates Charles Slough? Is it A1, B2, C3, or D1 and 2? And the answer is letter 
A. So A here, volume up, temperature up. And the number two is volume up, but the temperature is down. And here, temperature up, pressure up. So that's nice. So the number, and answer the number four question is letter A. So let's go to the number five question. This is the last one. I only made five questions for today because uh, it's easier to rem remember when you have this a little time to to study, not a very long study, and make your brain tired. Like as what I mentioned in my uh, previous video, that the ten minutes of the first video, uh, the ten minutes of your first study is the one that. Uh, uh, register in your brain the best so it's very important the 10 minutes of the study is the very important so my last number five question is about emulsion an emulsion is a mixture mixture of two liquids whose particles are evenly scattered in one another without dissolving and it's unstable and eventually the liquids for separates. So, which of the following is an emulsion? Is it A, salt water, B, tea with water, C, food coloring and water, or D, oil in vinegar? And the answer is Letter D, oil and vinegar. Oil and vinegar will not mix together. When you shake them, they will scatter and this look like they'll mix together, but when you put it down, um, they're not gonna dissolve together and they're unstable because they're eventually the liquid will separate again when you put it down and then the oil will go on the top of the the vinegar or if you or if you mix oil and water or anything like that so the answer is letter B oil and vinegar and that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to subscribe share this video to everybody or not only or, or especially for the GED thinkers, but you can share it to the high school people too, high school kids and middle school kids and other uh, people that study and anything like that. And give me a like and you can ask a question if one want, what are you gonna are you gonna like to study next? And you have a wonderful day. Hope you have a great Sunday today and see you in the future in my next video. And one more thing, don't forget to wash your hands. It's very important nowadays. So wash your hands, guys. Be safe and be well. Bye.